back to my channel. As many of you know, I'm a woman in long-term recovery. I'm a CARC, a SERPA, a rape crisis counselor, and an Arcan trainer. You will find all that. If you look at my description box down below, you will you'll find a video that explains everything that I just said to you guys. Say hi. Hello, everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's just uh, our Memorial Day parade that went right past our house. Jared's cousin Steven and his family and then us up on the hill. I just thought I would give you guys an update and show you Jared that he's still alive. <laughs> so I hope um, you guys all enjoy this video. Don't forget to look at my description box down below to find all my social media, Amazon wish list, all that stuff. And I will see you guys all in a few days. Bye. Merry Christmas. <laughs>
Today we're planting garlic. So Jared took this 55 gallon drum and cut in half and then made all these holes in the bottom as you can see. And then he took this log or tree or whatever and just made a little like groove in it so this can stay. Now we're gonna plant garlic inside. All right. Here we have folks. <laughs> the elusive Jennifer Lee cutting. Need more dirt or no? Nope. Oh. Here's the food of God. <laughs> little garlics. Yes, we love little garlics. So they started to sprout a little bit. We've had really bad weather, so we haven't been able to do anything. It's rained for like a week straight. And the wind's blowing like crazy today. Sorry, people. So what you do is you take this end like the end, the butt end, the butt end, and you just stick it in, and then you cover them up. You sure that's right side up? Positive. All right. The dirt's sparkly. Yeah. Good stuff. Hand width apart and thumb depth. Yeah. So. You got it. Get your face a little bit better, babe. My hand is not as big as yours. I'm just saying you're going to run out of room. I'm going to run out of room. I think you can plan it closer than that. Okay. Yeah, just like that. That works. Go cut another barrel in half. Well, containers, it's a tweaker thing. Like a good old tweaker. I'd pull another row. Okay. Ain't gonna hurt them none. It will actually if they don't grow properly. Yeah. The bulbs won't fall, form and then we'll have tiny garlic. Okay, so we'll have tiny garlic. Big deal. I like big garlic. Obviously, I like big things you're in Mary Jane. Our little pecker plants are growing good. But you're, you're recording um, the ground. No, I'm not. Okay. I'm recording you sticking stuff in the dirt. If I showed you guys this the last time when we were up here doing our garden but this is my horseradish um, I planted two roots last year and it has really taken off so I'm going to let it go it's look see it's already at flower over here but I'm gonna let it go this entire year and then next year harvest it so it, at least it's like a two-year-old root and then I have some <laughs> rhubarb here that is looking quite pathetic because um, the deer like to nibble on this and I think Jared hit it with the weed whacker a time or two. But again, this was um, root that I got last year and it's, it's, if you know anything about rhubarb, it gets ginormous. And as you can tell, this is very, very tiny. <laughs> and then, so Jared is mowing the lawn. Frankie is laying in the garden as always <laughs> eating 
I don't know what she's eating. Ah, get off my Brussels sprouts. Your butt is on my sprouts. Thank you. And here we have, these are gonna be little green zebra tomatoes. I love yellow tomatoes. Um, I just think they're sweeter. So, of course I can't get this back in now. So here's one baby. And then, here's another baby. Here's my big baby. <laughs> and so this whole, girl, if you don't move out the way, this whole row right here is all Brussels sprouts, which I'm super excited about. So we will have hella Brussels sprouts. That's a sprout and that. And then we come over here and here's the red cabbage. And then, <laughs> sadly, only two of our peas survived. So I'm going to go to the little frog pond farm stand and get three more to fill those holes this weekend. But our pumpkins are doing amazing as always. Sadly, our cucumbers all but <laughs> this one little guy down there have all croaked. So I'm gonna get some cucumbers to fill in in these holes too. And uh, I'm not sure what else I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get something else because we have this large space right here. And then at home, we have, this is the view up here. Hopefully one day we will build a home up here. Um, but at home we have peppers, strawberries, and cauliflower in our little um, bees bed. Took me five minutes to remember. And uh, that's an outhouse right there. And then these are two campers that we don't do anything with. Hopefully this summer, because we're allowed to now, you know, because we're all for all, we will come and we will sleep up here. And just spend the weekend like a little vacation because it's absolutely gorgeous up here and Frankie gets to run around off leash so she loves that and it's good for her to learn isn't it so pretty so there is an update on the garden and I hope you guys all enjoyed it bye